Okay, so with the introduction of DLSS 4, seems to be a bit of a hype and craziness all about it, as far as I can see on YouTube. A lot of streamers are saying it's a game changer and it is massively improving their simming experience in 2020 and 2024. So just out of curiosity, I decided I'd go and do a couple of test flights, two test flights in Melbourne before I updated, same two test flights again after I updated to see whether DLSS 4 is a massive game changer like they're saying it is. Probably no point in doing this because <laughs> to be truthful, we have no option in videos updated the driver when you update to the next version of your driver on whatever GPU you're using, it's going to have DLSS 4 in it or yeah, as part of it. So you have no option, but just thought it was interesting that people were going a bit crazy going, oh my God, it's like, it's really improved the same. I just wanted to see whether it would improve the same. And so I've done, as I say, done four flights, uh, uploaded them, took over two days, took a couple hours to edit them all together just to see. And the result is interesting. So I'm just looking at where I uploaded it. And for the baseline, I'm running a 3080 RTX i7 1400 processor 128 gigs of ram so it's not a massively high end i don't have a 4090 i don't have 40 series 50 series nothing like that at the minute running 30 series have been for the last couple of years started off with 3060 jumped up to a 3080 and the sim has been running pretty good for me but just that's the baseline of what i have but We'll start off with 2024 on the video here. So in 2024, sitting on the Alfred uh, helipad, we're running at um, 45 frames per second FPS. This is running DLSS 3.5. I have three in there, but 3.5 on performance. DX12, as I say, RTX 3080. The same as running smooth, flying fine. Uh, next flight I'd done was in 2020. So again from the Alfred, sitting on the Alfred, we were at about 43 FPS. Again, this is before the DLS, DLSS4 update, the graphics card. DX11 in 2020, I find DX12 always decreased FPS for me actually, and the sim didn't work as good with it. So, DX11. So, it continued on around the high 30s, low 40s. Then, after the update, I was waiting to see this big massive increase in FPS and performance, but Sitting on the Alfred again in 2024, now updated to DLSS 4, same settings as before. It, yeah, increased a bit, so I got a few FPS. And okay, OBS does down the FPS as well when you're recording, takes a few FPS away from you, but it was pretty much maybe one or two FPS. Nothing crazy, nothing game changing like they're saying. And the same, the last test I done was the 2020 with DLSS4, DX11 again. And it did increase again from maybe 43 FPS to 45. So two or three FPS increase over the flight. It fluctuates from the low high 30s to low 40s, probably low high 30s most of the thing. So 
either I'm missing something or I'd love anyone to put in the comments below. Have my settings are they not correct or something that I am not I'm not getting this massive game change and uplift from the DLSS four. Now I am running DLSS performance. All my settings in both sims are on either high or medium. We're not using ultra. So I'm not pushing the 3080 that much. The sim, yeah, the sim is smooth. And the sim is flying, flying, it's flying. <laughs> the sim is flying fine. So I guess I shouldn't worry as much. I actually say that I shouldn't be chasing FPS. But I just thought I'd do this test to see where, if this was a massive game changer, as they're all saying. Now, maybe, maybe they're all running, um, I don't know, maybe they're all running 40 series, 50 series, graphics cards with i9s, CPUs, and a crazy load of memory or something. But I'm not seeing a big, massive uplift on my fps from my 3080 with my i7 1400k so again someone in the comments below might say well you don't have this done or you don't have that done the video that's playing in the background there is i've uploaded it it's about over two hours long it is a test video just to see with the test flights i have my settings in there i have everything that i've done so I just thought, as I say, it's probably no interest to anybody. <laughs> I just thought I'd put it up to see. I just really because I'm finding a lot of thing, uh, a lot of simmers on, a lot of simmers, not a lot of simmers, a lot of streamers or that on YouTube tend to be running massively high rigs like. 50 series 40 series something that most of us can't afford at all and i9s and i think not their fault i don't blame them but i, I guess they they i don't know whether you call it normal or they the usual similar like ourselves that can't afford these big rigs or sort of scratching their head when they're coming out going this is a game changer these DS, DLSS 4 is a massive game changer and I honestly can't see it. But as always, I'm delighted if somebody can correct me in the comments below and go, look mate, you're not, you don't have the settings right or something like that. And if you do this, this will improve it more. Or if somebody comes along and goes, yeah, you're right. It's not going to do much until you get hit the 40 series or the 50 series of the graphics cards but anyways that's my rant over and probably no interest to anybody else only myself but um i'd be interested if anyone else is having the same experience with their sims or if somebody can come along and go look i have a lower card and i'm getting a massive increase i've got a 3060 and i'm getting a massive increase i'd be really interested to see that and also maybe i haven't tried it in vr yet i have a pimax so possibly a lot of the hype maybe it's for vr in 2020 i know that one of the simmers i was watching was a vr simmer and he said he was getting better performance so maybe it's in the vr rather than the normal on-screen flying but anyways as i said that's enough of my ranting and um We'll chat to you later. Okay, bye.